Hello everybody, it's Sarah and happy Asexual Awareness Week! Woo -woo -woo -woo. So today's video is related to asexuality, but it is probably more relevant for the aromantic community and other communities like the polyamorous community. Today I would like to talk about the term amatonormativity and why I think it is something that we need to discuss. Amatonormativity was coined in 2012 by Elizabeth Brake in her text Minimizing Marriage, Marriage Morality and the Law. Brake defines amatonormativity as the assumption that a central, exclusive, amorous relationship is normal for humans in that it is a universally shared goal and that such a relationship is normative in that it should be aimed at in preference to other relationship types. This assumption that valuable relationships must be marital or amorous devalues friendships and other caring relationships as recent manifestos by urban tribalists, quirky loans, polyamorists, and asexuals have insisted. Amatonormativity prompts the sacrifice of other relationships to romantic love and marriage and relegates friendship and solitudinousness to cultural invisibility. So in other words, dyadic romantic relationships are prioritized as like the most important relationship that one can have in their life and a life without such a relationship is a life unfulfilled. So don't get me wrong, I don't think there's anything wrong with people searching for their like one true love and finding fulfillment in an amorous relationship. The problem is that these relationships are often given priority and privilege over other types of relationships. If two people were living together and sharing expenses and household duties, even possibly raising children, but their relationship was only a platonic one, their relationship would not be given the same legal recognition and support as that of a romantic relationship of the same nature. Metanormativity has some potentially unrecognized biases against people who are not in coupled romantic relationships. Single people are not always believed to be happy and leading fulfilled lives without a partner. Single people or people in non-romantic groupings face discrimination as a result of metanormativity. For example, government benefits like social security cannot be passed on to a close friend or care network the same way that it can be passed on to a spouse. Likewise, workplaces are unlikely to extend health benefits to a platonic partner as they would a romantic partner, even if all other conditions were the same. We need to challenge the idea that single people should always be on the pursuit of a romantic relationship. Not everybody needs to be in a relationship to be happy and not everybody wants a romantic relationship. There's nothing wrong with people who are happily, enthusiastically single. Single people should not have to justify that they want to be single by saying that they're married to their work because that makes people feel better. We need to challenge the idea that single people are incomplete because finding a partner does not a complete person make. We are already whole, complete people regardless of our relationships. We need to challenge the idea of the one true love. Some people want to be in relationships with multiple people and be committed to those people at the same time. Not everybody's committed relationships need to be romantic. More than two people can be in any given relationship at the same time. Friendships and other care networks can be just as fulfilling and meaningful to a person as a romantic relationship. As the phrase goes, it takes a village to raise a child, and whether your village is an extended family member, daycares, or other partners, most people do have a village. Some of my hashtag relationship goals challenge matter-normativity. For example, Willow, Buffy, and Xander from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and the crew from Friends, and Karma and Amy from Faking It, and the crew from Rugrats, and Abby and Alana from Broad City, and of course, Harry, Ron, and Hermione from Harry Potter. I hope this video made you think about how insidious and easy to take for granted the ideas surrounding a modern normativity can be. If a dyadic romantic relationship is something that is important to you, that's great, and there's nothing wrong with that. Just, I would like people to start thinking about how their relationships are prioritized in their own life and by society in general and whether your priorities are the same as society's priorities. Anyway, I hope that you are having a fantastic day and I will see you hopefully sooner rather than later with another video. Toodles noodles, bye!